What do we got here? Okay. All right, thanks, Mr. Allen. Hopefully, you're enjoying your your new GoPro and uh, getting some use out of it on the old drone there. Sweet. Good looking out. All right, so I'm gonna be uh, putting one of the Mr. Allen. By the way, holy crap, these are like. These are like freaking underwater bandage quality stickers. You could uh, you could probably patch a hole in a space suit with one of these freaking things. Jeez, what are these like thirteen dollars a piece? Uh, holy crap! Anyway, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna add them to our uh, El Frigio of stickers. Here we go. Yeah, actually, boom! Right next to the. Birdie, over. Yeah. Awesome. That's perfect. Thanks again, Alan. All right. Quick little update. We got the uh, the spray tan for the uh, lights. <laughs> spray tan. Nice and dark. What's up, Peach? And then, yeah. Hitting speedo cable popped in tomorrow. We'll go from there. The camera's probably not doing it any justice, but this thing had a definite stuck um, hydraulic lifter. Maybe two in the back. Um, you could definitely hear it. I scoped it. It was um, the back itself. They were sticking. Uh, it sounded like I was literally tapping on the valve cover with a screwdriver. Not even 15 minutes ago. Um, it's kind of an old school trick. You drain, I'd say about half your oil, depending on the size of the motor. And throw a couple of quarts of kerosene in there. And for everybody that's gonna say, oh my God, but that's flammable. So is oil. Um, <laughs> the drip down gasoline that gets past your rings into your oil galley makes more vapor and more explosive vapor than this stuff ever could. Grandpappy and all the other old school guys that recommend this and did this on tractors and cars and trucks forever. Um, also recommend just to let the car idle until it gets to operating temperature basically once your fans kick on and if they don't then you know that you either have a bad fan or a bad thermo switch relay uh, fan controller relay and then you shut the car off drain the oil replace the filter with a really cheap shitty filter and some really cheap shitty oil run the motor again for like another 15 minutes and then drain that out so it's uh, empty about half your oil Add a couple quarts of kerosene, run the motor till hot, shut it off, drain it, crappy filter, crappy oil, fill up, run for another 15 minutes, drain it, and then top off with your favorite oil and filter and go from there. And uh, no more valve stick. Alright, out here doing the um, speedo cable, letting it filled with oil taped into the tranny side with some oil and then it drains down through the um, cable hopefully preventing any future wear um, the old one was not properly fastened to the firewall so it was just kind of hanging down on the back of the block and the exhaust so clearly that's why it failed but anyway for all the people that um, want to claim that tires are so hard I'm gonna show you how I do mount tires a little bit of soapy water. See the tire. Make sure there's no smuts in it. Soap, water, the edge of both sides. Okay. Then I just kind of get 
two knees and do it nice and tight. You may have to, you want at least half of the tire, half of the rim, I guess, through. Then you take your trusty, these are more for breaking a bead. I can show that in another video. Comment down below if you want to see how to break a bead with just two of these guys. Installing one, all you need is a this end and you can either hook it in this way onto the rim and push the tire down or you can hook it this way this way it tends to pop out more but it all depends on how far down you've got the tire but you know you can go right or left first get the tire down on there nice and tight and then i'll put either my right knee or my left knee down and then put the tool in the opposite side and just kind of force it down over so now you have even more of the tire and then i put my other knee up here and then again, stick it in a little bit over here on the left. And then again, less is more. You don't want to choke up on a whole bunch of it. Just get a little bit. If you don't have your knee placed, it's just going to slide off. So get it in there. Pop a little bit down and over. And then go to the other side. Guide the tire down with the knee in your hand, and if the, once it gets too hard to get in like this, go in like that. But be careful of kickback. You don't want the tire too far down on the rim either. There's a, there's a lip right here that's really small. You want the bead to be in that lip, so this bead has somewhere to go. All right, so we move back to the other side. In, watch for that kickback, and then just now. Honestly, I think that's the hardest part. Now, same thing. Here's a knee. Here's your other knee. Just kind of walk back and forth on it, and then same thing. Use your tool. Get one side or the other, and then just pop. And we want that lip to pop into that recessed part of the rim so that this side of the bead has somewhere to go. All right, so now we're gonna flip our tool. It's getting harder to get underneath the tire. And once you get about this far, your knees may get caught under the tire depending on how tight your tire is. So I go ahead and stand up. And then same thing, a little bit at a time walk your foot around to keep the bead from popping. Same thing over here. Back over here. This is how we have to used to do it before there was AAA. If that gives you a hard time just kind of on it there you go now you can put a um, ratchet strap around the center of the tire and wherever the buckle is on the opposite side put a piece of 2x4 or even 4x4 four four post I don't know why it helps and then you ratchet strap it until the bead almost seats and then you can air them up so there you go so that turned out pretty well for aluminum, obviously clean the shit out of them, scour them if you can with some steel wool, get the uh, aluminum oxide off of the surface, and then use this. And mist it on in a light powder at first, and then I hit it with a hair dryer, and then mist it on some more, and hit it with a hair dryer, and then put an actual coat, like thick white coat, hit it with the hair dryer, and then you'll see it go from like the gloss wetness to the dull white. And then that's when I started spraying, you know, whatever color you prefer. The, uh, what is it? Glowing orange, red glowing orange for us. And it kind of is a reddish orange, but <clears throat> should look good.
world's most satisfying video. Is it good? What is it? Hmm?